8 stands for acquired immunodeficiency syndrome which is caused by Im human immunodeficiency virus or HIV normally our body is protected by our immune system which is compromised when HIV virus attacks and as a result several secondary infections caused by several bacteria and viruses could kick in now AIDS could be propagated by sexual intercourse with multiple different partners without proper protection it could also pass from mother to its baby sharing injecting uh, apparatuses like needles etc it can al allow to like propagation of AIDS now once a person has AIDS what is the diagnosis of AIDS and how AIDS could be diagnosed diagnosed in the clinics so right now there are at least three different methods by which the AIDS could be diagnosed not only it could tell us that whether the person is infected with HIV or not but also it can have an estimate about the viral load so we would go over all these techniques step by step to understand how HIV could be diagnosed first of all HIV could be diagnosed by ELISA or enzyme linked immunosorbent assay a confirmatory test would be western blotting against specific markers of AIDS and a qPCR based analysis which would try to understand how much of uh, HIV viral mRNA is present in the patient sample would tell us about the viral load or the stages of propagation of HIV in the infected patient now first we discuss about how we can use ELISA to detect uh, HIV virus in a patient's blood sample so first of all indirect ELISA is the technique which is widely used to detect antibody against a known antigen and we know that when HIV is going to affect our body our body would respond by creating antibodies so if we can detect uh, specific antibodies against known HIV viral proteins from a patient blood sample then we can be sure that the patient is infected by HIV let's just see how it works so first there would be microtitial plates whose well would be coated with antigen in this case HIV antigen for example we know that HIV virus has GP120 so GP1 if we find GP120 in a patient's blood sample or an antibody against GP120 in a patient's blood sample then definitely the patient is affected by the HIV virus and that is why its immune system has produced uh, anti-GP120 antibody right so first we should coat the plate with this specific antigen then we should put the antibody that need to be measured and in this case the antibody means the patient's blood sample hopefully if the patient's blood sample has this particular antibody it would bind to the antigen and once we give a probe for detection that is a secondary antibody which is linked with an enzyme it would it should give rise to a color reaction and this color reaction would in turn tell us that the antigen was the antibody against this specific antigen is present and that is why the color reaction is developed now in clinic definitely the patients and uh, blood samples would be taken it would be centrifuge to take out the serum and from the serum if we see the person has the antibodies against HIV specific antigens then the person would be positive or it, if the person doesn't have the antibody then it's negative so if the person is HIV positive then in the ELISA we would see a color reaction but if we don't see any color reaction that means no antibody is there and that is why there is no antibody in the patient blood sample against this specific chosen antigen for AIDS and that is why when we give the secondary antibody it cannot bind don't have a specific primary antibody to bind with to give rise to a color reaction so as a result we would know that the patient is HIV negative so this is how we can use ELISA for detecting AIDS now other confirmatory test after this kind of ELISA experiment is western blotting in western blotting specific some blood sample would be taken the proteins would be isolated from the sample it would be run into a SDS page gel 
and separated along molecular weight which could be transferred onto a membrane and this membrane would be hybridized with antibodies specific to an antigen let's say if the protein sample extracted from the patient's blood has hiv then at least hiv biomarkers like a like let's say protease integrase reverse transcriptase or let's say uh, gb120 etc these markers should be present now we can put antibodies against specific markers and look for corresponding bands in the western blot and the appearance of the bands would tell us whether the virus is present in the blood sample or not all these uh, things would give us an overall idea whether the virus is present in the blood sample or not now if the virus has gp120 then the gp120 could be detected by specific antibody when we put it in the western blot and that would appear as a band in the western blot result now other diagnostic test is qpcr we know that the virus is injecting its genetic material into the host t cell cytoplasm and that would be reverse transcribed by reverse transcriptase and that would get inside the dna to form uh, that would be getting integrated into the host genome but it would produced it would produce viral mrnas a lot right and the amount of viral mrna would also give us an idea the rate of production of new hiv virus in other terms the viral load that how much virus is producing and what is the stage of hiv viral propagation so that could be detected by qpcr reaction so it's just extracting the blood samples from the patient uh, sample patient blood sample so the mrna is extracted and from the mrna cdna is prepared and specific genes which is hiv viral specific is amplified if the amplification result is positive that means the virus is present and also compared to a controlled individual if you compare the fold change that would give a quantitative idea in terms of how much uh, is the viral load and also an absolute quantification give us ab about the concentration of the viral mrnas present in the patient sample so using these three techniques or a combination of these three techniques hiv could be detected in patient's blood sample if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like share and subscribe